Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a big job ahead of us as we tackle not only one, but two challenging driveways. First up, we've got a private driveway that's riddled with some massive potholes. And these craters have been causing quite a headache for the homeowners. And then we move to a shared driveway that's seen some better days. It's rolling and bumpy, and it really is making the, a hard ride for the neighbors. So to tackle these issues, we're going to bring our trusty ruckus rake. This versatile tool is it's perfect for breaking up potholes and releveling the shared driveway. It's going to get them a nice, smooth, and durable surface. So stick around as we walk you through this, show you step-by-step -step how we get this done. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our uh, driveway transformation videos. So let's get to it. So here you can see that I am, first thing I'm trying to do is get rid of the water because honestly, I don't want all this water covering my machine, covering my attachments. It just makes a whole lot of mess and creates a lot more work afterwards that we got to clean everything. We're not going to avoid it t totally, but it helps a lot if we can get that water flowing and get rid of it so that uh, it's, it's running off. And so what we're doing right now is we're actually, <laughs> believe it or not, we're actually trenching here. So I'm bringing down the levels of the common share driveway and digging it out so that the water will start flowing down the hill and you can see how it's starting to do that. Now you can see how that work is paying off and we're getting this water to flow. It's pushed out. It's running down the slope towards the grass there. And now we're being able to finally start working on it and get to some work and you'll notice my skid steer isn't covered with mud uh, or just really wet gravel and so that saves a lot of time afterwards see how soupy that gravel gets when it gets overly saturated and it's just not really useful so we're just pushing it out of the way and then what we'll do is we'll pull it back in and just carry it down the shared driveway and mix it in with the dry material so that it ultimately stabilizes and becomes more usable again so that's what we're doing here we're just making passes over and over again mixing the wet with the dry and then also regrading it. The great thing about this ruckus rake is that I can, it's a six way, so I can not only go up and down, obviously, I can go left or right, but I can also tilt it and set a pitch so that it, uh, we can create a s additional slope. And now we're just bringing in f some 57 here in order to fill in this low spot and make sure that we don't have these potholes showing up again. Now what we're going to do is switch out the uh, good old ruckus rake and we're going to pick up the bucket and do some bucket work. And here we're just picking up some wet, overly wet material and we'll just drop it, spread it out, mix it back in and then we'll uh, get it leveled out so that all that wet material is getting mixed in with the dry material and 
everything's stable and ultimately compactable. If you get things too wet, it doesn't compact. So there's a definitely a balance. Wetness is good, helps the material slide together and lock, but at the same time, it's bad in that it, uh, if it's there's too much, it keeps it from being able to compact. It just slides around and mushes up. Here's my son Joey running the skid steer. He's been an incredible asset over this past year as he's been getting better and better at the skid steer. He's 15 years old. Super proud of him. And here you can see we're putting the final touches on this corner and the idea is is we want to carry that slope all the way from the private driveway across the shared driveway so that any water that comes down the private driveway does not get trapped in the shared driveway but keeps moving and goes to the grass. Now we're bringing in some crush, running it but down this driveway. This is the private part still. We're getting all that taken care of. Now what we're going to start doing is working on the shared driveway. So we got the ruckus rake back hooked up. And we're going to start taking out some of these roll. Someone had come in before and had kind of level tried to level out this common area driveway and just didn't do a good job so we are regrading it essentially just turning it over filling in pockets filling in these almost whoopties that were created and uh, getting it nice and smooth so that people can drive without going for a ride At the same time, what we're doing is we're also sloping it to the downhill side so that we're creating a steady slope so that the, in this picture, the left side is higher than the right side. And now we're just going to pick up our trusty bucket, do some finish work, make sure everything's uh, nice and spread out and level, uh, do those fine touches. We do a lot of rake work. Uh, we don't tend to show much of it in the in our videos, but we do a lot of hand raking uh, because that's where we can get really get things perfect and even fill in those little tiny pockets that are hard to uh, hard to touch entirely and perfectly with the bucket. Now we got our trusty roller, and we're going to compact it. So we drive this bad boy about two and a half miles an hour, basically a decent walking speed. And that gives us the number of hits per foot that we need for gravel. It allows it to compact, but not over compact. This is important, you can definitely over compact something. 
we don't want that happening. And there you go. That's how it's done. And so the right side is slightly higher than the left. You may not be able to tell it in the picture. But that's going to allow the water to move off the driveway and not pothole. And it also is going to uh, allow it to uh, not get potholes here in the corner. You can see how we've created a slope that comes from this private and ends onto the grass of the uh, shared driveway. There you go, that's how it looked before. This is what it looks like now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.